Hey everyone, welcome to part 89 of my Pokemon game series in Unity. So in this video, we'll implement weighted random wild encounters. So for each wild Pokemon in an area, we'll be able to assign a chance of appearing in a wild battle. So using this, we can create rare Pokemon that has less chance of appearing in a wild battle. So let's look at how to implement this. By the way, I started a new series on Patreon that covers how to make a 3D Pokemon game like Pokemon Legends Arceus in Unity. So if you're interested in making a 3D Pokemon game or a 3D RPG game in general, then you can check out this course on Patreon. So by becoming a Patreon, you can support this channel and get access to the 3D Pokemon series and get some other cool rewards like the complete project files of the series, some exclusive tutorials and access to the Discord community. So before we start, I want to say a huge thanks to all the Patreons who are currently supporting the channel. You guys make the series possible and I'm grateful to each and every one of you. So let's start the video. So right now, in each map area, we have a list of wild Pokemon and at the start of a wild battle, we'll select a random Pokemon from this list right so that's how the wild pokemon selection is working right now but in the original game it's a bit more complex for example in a map area we can have rare pokemon that has less chance of appearing during a wild battle right so for example if we look at the list of pokemon in an area you can see that each pokemon has a chance of appearing in a wild battle so in this area some pokemon like caterpie and beetle has a high chance of appearing their chance is 40 percentage but we also have some rare pokemon like pikachu which only has five percentage of chance of appearing in a wild battle so when listing the wild pokemon in a map area we can also include its chance of appearing and one more thing in this list as you can see that we can have a range of levels right so here it's three to five for caterpie and it's four to six for metapod etc so we can also add a range of levels here instead of using a single level so let's go ahead and modify our map area script to include these so here I'll create a new class called Pokemon Encounter Record. All right. So this class will hold data like the Pokemon, its level range, and its chance of appearing. So first, I'll create a public field for the Pokemon. All right. And then for the level two range, I'll use a vector to int because a vector can have two values so let me just name this level range and finally i'll create an integer variable for the chance i'll call this chance percentage to be clear so here i just define these variables as public instead of making it a serialized field and exposing it using property because this class is just a data container it's not going to have any other functionalities so i don't mind making it public all right so let me also make this class serializable by adding the system dot serializable attribute okay so now in the map area instead of storing a list of pokemon we should store a list of pokemon encounter record all right so now we'll have errors over here. So for now, we can just comment all this code. And uh, we can just return null from this function so that we don't have any errors. Okay. So now if you go to Unity and select a map area, you can see that we have these three fields. All right. So next. When selecting a random Pokemon from this list, we should also consider 
its chance of spawning right so how can we do that so let me explain what we're going to do with an example so let's say these are the list of pokemon in our map area so what we'll do is we'll convert this list into a weighted list like this so in this list each pokemon will have an upper and lower range for the chance so for pidgey it's 0 to 40 for uh, Rattata, it's 40 to 80 and for pikachu it's 80 to 100 okay so if we create a list like this then we can easily select a random pokemon from this list based on their chance by generating a random value between 0 and 100 right so let's go ahead and create this list so in the pokemon encounter record class i'll add two new properties the first one is going to be called chance lower so this will be the lower chance and the second one will be called chance upper okay and then in the start function we have to calculate the upper and lower chance of each pokemon record based on their chance percentage so let's do that so here i'll create a variable to keep the total chance so let me set it to zero by default and we'll use this for calculating the upper and lower chance so first let me loop through all the wild pokemon records so i'll use a for each loop for that all right and for each record we have to calculate the lower and the upper chance so the lower chance will be equal to the total chance and the upper chance will be equal to total chance plus the chance percentage of the record all right and finally at the end of the loop we'll increase total chance by the chance percentage of this record all right so if this is confusing for you then look at this example again so here the lower chance for pg is 0 and its upper chance is 40 and after that the total will be 40 right so next the lower chance of ratita will be 40 because it will start from the total and its upper chance will be the total plus its chance percentage so 40 plus 40 will be 80 all right so now the total chance is 80 and that will also be the lower chance for pikachu and its upper chance will be 80 plus 20 that's 100 okay so hopefully this example will help you understand what we're doing in the code so this will calculate a lower and upper chance for each pokemon so next we can easily select a random pokemon based on its chance by generating a random value between 1 and 100 and taking the pokemon where the random value falls between its lower and upper value all right so first let's generate a random value between 1 and 100 so i'll use a random dot range function and for the min i'll pass 1 and for the max i'll pass 101 because the max is exclusive all right it's shown as inclusive over here but it's actually exclusive for the integer version of this function which is what we want to use okay so next from the wild pokemon list we should find the pokemon whose chance range contains the random value that we generated so for that i'll use the first function so we have to import link in order to use the first function and i'll get the first pokemon from the list where the random value is greater than or equal to the lower range 
and it's less than or equal to the upper range. All right. So I'll take the first Pokemon that satisfies this condition. So let me store this in a variable called Pokemon record. All right. And next, in the Pokemon record, we have the level range that we want to use. So we have to select a random level from this range. So here what I'll do is, in the level range, if only the first value is given, and if the second value is left as zero, then I'll take the first value as the level. Okay. Otherwise, if both values are given, then I'll find a random level between those two ranges. So in this way, we can specify both a single value and a range. So first, let me store the level range into a new variable just to keep the code short. All right. And if level range dot y is equal to zero, so if the second value of the level range is zero, then we can just use the first value. All right. And otherwise, we have to select a random value between the two ranges. Right. So let me use random dot range and get a random value between level range dot x and level range dot y. And by the way, here I'll add one to the level range dot y because the second value is exclusive. Okay. So let me just store this into a variable called level. So now we have the Pokemon and the level. So let's create a new Pokemon object with those data. So in the constructor, we have to pass the Pokemon and the level. So I'll pass Pokemon record dot Pokemon for the Pokemon. And for the level, I'll just pass the level that we computed over here. Okay. So now we have selected a random Pokemon based on its chance from our wild Pokemon's list. So next, we just have to initialize it like before and return the wild Pokemon. So let me get rid of the comment in these two lines. Okay. And let me get rid of this code. And we also don't want to return null since we are returning wild Pokemon from here. Okay. So we are done with our new random wild Pokemon selection code. So let's go to Unity and test if this is working. So first, we have to fill the wild Pokemon list for all the map areas. So let me just go ahead and fill it in the root one scene. So for the first Pokemon, I'll choose a Pidgey. Okay. And let's set its level range from two to four. And for the chance percentage, I'll give some high value like 70. Okay. And next I'll add two more Pokemon to this list. So the second Pokemon will be a Pikachu. All right. And let me set its level range to something like two and five. And then I'll set the chance percentage as 20. So Pikachu will be a bit more rare than Pidgey. Okay. And for the final Pokemon, uh, let me select a Bulbasaur. So I leave its level range as two and four. And its chance percentage will be 10 because that's what's left. So 70 plus 20 plus 10 will be 100. So when you specify the list of wild Pokemon, it's really important that the sum of all the chance percentages should be 100, right? Otherwise, our calculation won't work as expected. So the sum of all this should be 100. And since it's easy for a designer to make a mistake over here and create a list where the chance is not equal to 100, what we'll do is in the next video, we'll create an editor script to 
validate if the sum of all the chance percentage is 100. So that will be done in the next video. But first, let's make sure that this is working. So let me go ahead and run the game. All right, so let me go to the root one scene. And let me try to start a wild battle. So it's working as usual. So basically 70% of time, we should get a Pidgey. So when you test, you'll get Pidgey most of the time. But once in a while, you should also get a Bulbasaur and a Pikachu. All right. So let me test it for a few times and make sure that I'm also getting other Pokemons. Okay. So after getting lots of Pidgeys, I finally got a Pikachu. So the Pikachu is a lot more rare. So a random wild Pokemon selection formula is working as expected. So I'll stop the video here. If you think this video is helpful, please leave a like and consider subscribing to my channel. That'll really help me out. So I'll see you in the next video.